Well, hello and welcome uh, to another show here. And uh, I want to—I have a very special uh, opportunity today to um, to come uh, bring forth the Ravenscroft 275. I'm a big fan of the software. It's a virtual piano, and so I'll be um, uh, coming to you. Um, not from my grand piano, but from this, um, I'm using my Kurzweil uh, SP6 is the controller, and I'm going to be using the Ravenscroft uh, 275. It's um, a virtual piano. I'm, I happen to know Bob Ravenscroft um, uh, personally. He's a fine pianist, great guy, and um, uh, really, really behind their venture of creating the concert grand and the uh, you know their, their their piano their line of the uh, the piano is just uh, impeccable. It's uh, world world class, and if you ever have an opportunity to play the real piano, you you must do so. But I think you're going to enjoy hearing the um, the replication here of this uh, Ravenscroft 275. I was able to do a show last week, which you can find a lot of my previous uh, live streams will be um, uh, appear here on my YouTube channel uh, under the live stream category. And last week I had a a few tunes on there, so I'm I'm trying to do different tunes every every show. So um, I got this is number I believe number 27. So it's hard to believe. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. I know it's a very difficult time for everyone, and um, hopefully we can unplug a little bit with the music and um, and uh, uh, think about um, brighter days ahead for all of us. Um, the first tune you heard there was um, a trio as an original composition of mine called Buzzards Blues, and um, it was recorded about five years ago. Um, and uh, at a gig that we, um, a concert series that I was, I was part of, with a great trio, Sinclair Lott on drums um, from L.A., um, and Roger Shu, uh, who we lost a few years ago, a um, uh, fine, fine bass player, an extraordinary human. And I'm, I've had the opportunity, great pleasure to play with those guys for a, a few years. And you'll see a lot of that trio stuff um, appear on my YouTube channel as well. So um, also um, the quality of that recording was... Um, captured with the Earthworks microphone. I am an artist for the Earthworks uh, microphone company, and um, it's just, uh, I'd be lost without mine. You know, it's, um, it's an incredible, uh, I use it in all my teaching, and I have, um, uh, it just, it's just a wonderful, uh, wonderful um, microphone line, very professional, high-end, and I'm capturing the piano. So I walk into a gig now, and I'm carrying a m my microphone and my cameras, and speaking of cameras, I do I have a camera here on front. I have um, my setup here. I have uh, all the lights and the cameras, all lights and cameras and everything. And we're, you know, I, I do a, a, a personalized uh, jazz piano study um, correspondence that's very, very unique. And um, I'm one of the only ones in the world that are doing it this way. And if you're interested in uh, learning more about it, just um, hit me up and we'll, I'll be glad to FaceTime you or we can do a Zoom or whatever platform you like and we could kind of chat about it and I can answer all your questions. I also offer one-on-one um, uh, -on -one, uh, correspondence, one-on-one uh, -on -one correspondence in addition to um, just a as-needed lesson. So if you want to grab a lesson, just uh, just let me know. Okay, so we're going to start off. Um, i got a few tunes here that like to play for you today. This first one is a very unusual tune, and not many people uh, know it. It's um, it's called "Way to Go," and um, it's it's um, it's an older tune. And I know um, uh, Chet Baker used to play it as a break tune. I'm going to play it um, play it for you right now. I hope you enjoy.
Well, there you have it. That was way to go. And that's a, a tune, again, it's not often played, and it's um, it's it's kind of a cool one. You hear it different ways. You hear it up-tempo. You hear it, I've seen heard it bossa nova. And, um, uh, again, this is the Ravenscroft piano, and you're hearing this incredible, incredible sound, you know, that's coming from, the, from this controller. So I'm not using any of the onboard sounds. I'm just using the Ravenscroft virtual piano. Uh, it's good to see David Devine popping in, and um, and I'm going to have some some of my students there, you know, from from nearby and abroad, um, popping in and saying hello. And again, if you have to miss the show, you're going to be able to find these conveniently uh, located on my live stream uh, platform here on YouTube. Okay, so uh, this next tune, um, but well, before I begin, well, let me show you um, uh, what this looks like. I'll probably do this a couple of times during the during the show today. This is the Ravenscroft 275 as it appears on my um, my desktop here. And I'm running the software and I have two microphones. You'll see I have a close mic and I have a side mic. You can choose your miking. You can choose the, the amount of sound you're getting from the damper pedals and the reverb and the decay. I'm also, um, this is my setting for my velocity. This is the velocity that makes it um, not feel so hot on the top, so I backed it off a little bit, so I'm able to dig into the piano a little bit more like a grand piano and get that kind of real experience of playing like a grand piano. So you're going to hear the, uh, this is, these are actual recordings from, uh, taken from the Ravenscroft uh, concert piano, so um, I hope you enjoy. So this next tune is another one, um, uh, another great tune, it's called uh, Long Ago and Far Away. Thank you.
Long Ago and Far Away. Again, another, you know, just great, great, great tune. Um, and again, I'm, I, I have a reputation of playing a lot of these old, old tunes. And, you know, often we're not really, um, uh, you know, from playing the, I played the Ritz-Carlton for many, many years and work in these hotels and playing solo piano so much, you know, you get to know a lot of these older tunes and it really makes it fun. And so every night is like a, is a new experience for me. So um, this uh, next tune coming up, I, um, I've been writing a lot of tunes during this quarantine time. It's really been kind of a, I would say, a, it's an inspiring time for me because it reaches deep down in a very chaotic period of our, our lives. And we're able to um, put it all out on, on, in music and I'll be able to hold it, you know, as a, as, as a part of the memory of something that came out of it for me with um, in my music. And I've written, um, this is number nine, and it's, um, uh, it's called Malbec Kamba. And it's um it's a samba and it's something I wrote um towards the end here it was um I just finished it up probably l last week and um so I'm continually back into the writing scene and uh, you know and it was really uh it's it's a lot of fun for me and I have one show here where I did all the um I did eight of my original compositions and um which really I'm very proud to say I, I feel they came out really quite well so this one here has never been heard by anyone I just finally just um just finishing it up and um, hope you enjoy. It's called Mel Beckhamba.
That was Mel, Mel Bakemba. And it was, again, it was one, another one of my original compositions that was um, just finished up recently. You know, it was one of those kind of um, inspired time in this time. We get a lot more time and still staying home and trying to, you know, not many places to go. All the gigs are gone, you know, for right now. It's um, a very trying time for not only musicians, but everyone in the world. It's just um, So we're hopefully, uh, we'll stay together and we'll, um, we'll get all through this. Um, this next tune is a, a n another original. I, I like playing the, a lot of the original compositions because they, you know, it's um, they're fresh to me. A lot of people come up to me often and they say, "What's your favorite tune?" It happens to be that usually the one that I'm learning at the time that I'm checking out or reliving or you know whatever it be. Um, and um, and so I really don't have any, I would say, favorite tunes, you know. But there, um, but there's surely certain ones that really stick out as being really a good, um, a lot of fun to play. And uh, this one here is called um, "A Night Without You." Again, I'm um, playing the Ravenscroft 275 piano here tonight, and it's um, again, I'm a, I'm a, a, a pure, pretty much a pure cl um, um, acoustic player, and we've all gone through keyboards and software and things, and you know, and. Um, it's this is this is the, the where technology has come right now, and this is again is the Ravenscroft 275, and this is the software, and this is the um, my settings, and my, my velocity curve, and so it's really kind of a it's a very cool cool product, and it's um but it's come so far from the old days back. I'm dating myself here back in the DX7s and the you know back 40 45 years ago, um, Fender Rhodes and um, and it's just there's so many great things. Although the Fender Rhodes is still holding its own, you know, for those that can, are fortunate to have one, and um, those vintage keyboards. But um, this is really um, it's kind of setting its um, into a new a new kind of uh, platform when you're really getting involved with um, uh, reproducing acoustic piano as closely as you can like this. This is really qu quite something. So um, again, this next tune is called "A Night Without You," another one of my originals. Hope you enjoy.
A Night Without You. Again, it was um, uh, an original composition I wrote uh, probably uh, maybe a year or two ago, and um, it's always fun to bring them out and share it with you all out there. So again, um, I uh, want to thank anyone that's coming through here. You know, it's hard to see. You know, a lot of times people are watching from the outside and are coming into the, t the live chat um, aspect of the, uh, the show here. But again, you can access these through um, through all my uh, um, contacts, you know, in, um, in my YouTube, okay? So I have all my live streams there. So it's um, it can be found there. And um, uh, normally I'm coming at you from my... Um, from my grand piano, and again, when I'm, it's not accessible, you know, it's um, at this time I figured I'd do something really kind of cool, sharing the software. Because a lot of people don't have an opportunity; they hear demos of this, but they don't actually hear the software being played like on a gig kind of thing. So this is um, very much uh, so coming through on a gig. I'm using headphones to monitor, so so I don't have the stereo set up here. So it, it sounds tremendous in here. So it's just one of those. Um, uh, kind of things. I hope it's translating okay through you, uh, through you all out there. Okay, so um, this next tune is, um, and I'm very hopeful that this will be the the the, the way it will be. It's called "We'll Be Together Again," and I'm really um, hopeful that we'll be able to um, shed some light on uh, the future for us all, and we'll be uh, back out performing regularly and traveling and being able to um, uh, live some sort of a normal um, existence out there. Uh, so. Um so this goes uh this goes out to everyone we'll be together again enjoy
We'll Be Together Again. Another really old, old tune. And uh, let's see if we get Susan in here. And Nora, good seeing you. You know, again, I want to thank you all for coming in and uh, checking out on a Sunday afternoon. And um, I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, we're um, we're enjoying the... It's um, As you know, I come from Arizona, but me and Seymour, we, we have a... We've met together over here in uh, Orange County, so it's um, we're really able to have the best of both worlds. So we're over here in my little studio in Laguna Beach, and um, I'll be back in Laguna, uh, I'm back in Arizona soon, and we'll be going back and forth. So it's kind of undecided. Like maybe next week I'll have my grand piano. <laughs> so it's very deciding where we're going to be from uh, from week to week. So it's uh, but right now we are really um, uh, very much enjoying the uh, cool attempts here and. Um, and along the coast of uh, just a block away from the ocean. It's funny because a lot of times you're playing, and I even feel, you know, coming from Arizona, you know, being in you know, Arizona so, so much, the piano feels even more damp, you know? So it's almost like it has the, the ocean air, you know, and the, the, the water. <laughs> it's really, really pretty wild. Uh, anyway, I want to um, leave you with a, a, a tune today. It's, um, it's a tune that, you know, we've done so much, um, and... Um, as an ending closing tune and um i thought it would be an appropriate one to do today and um keep your eyes peeled for up and coming streams i'm not quite sure what to the regularity i'll be doing right now because it's involving a lot more um you know obviously uh than being you know in full quarantine and we are being very safe and very very much home all the time but you know i'm not quite sure whether i'm going to be traveling back to arizona or coming and staying here and so it's um but i'll keep you posted um i'll be most likely alternating with my U um, my facebook channel and um so my facebook uh and youtube and with everything will eventually end up over on youtube even my facebook shows i bring them over to youtube so you can enjoy them over here and um but this last tune i'd like to leave you with is um and i have one more at the very end this is my my, my signature tune is called forever april you can enjoy but the um uh this last one is called that's all okay here we go
Whoop, I didn't have my mic on. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I uh, <laughs> just noticed I didn't have my mic on. Anyway, I want to again. I want to um, uh, wish you all a very, very um, uh, healthy and safe week ahead. Um, stay tuned for all the future shows. Um, again, that was uh, the last tune was "That's All." It was a very uh, um, different way to play it. Of course, just had some fun with it. And uh, yeah, thank you, Susan. I just recognize it. We're we're behind. It's always like a delay. And there's so many buttons and wires and things going on, so it's very easy to kind of slip up here. The, um, but anyway, the, um, uh, the next particular show will be um, announced. I'm not quite sure when it will be, but it's, um, it's be coming up soon. So, okay, um, everyone have a great, uh, great, great week coming up. Let's hope for the best each and every day. And uh, this next tune is one of my kind of signature tunes. It's called Forever April. Hope you enjoy. And um, everyone stay s safe and healthy and happy. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Good night.